What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about a few different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Scream 6, we'll be talking about Insidious 5, we'll be talking about Pretty Little Liars Summer School which has begun filming and we'll be talking about Saw X and just speculating a little bit on the potential release date changes. Just to kick it off with Insidious 5, Insidious the Red Door. We know that this film is going to be set 10 years after the events of the first two classic Insidious movies and it will be revolving around the Lamberts once again. Josh Lambert will be heading east to drop his son Dalton off at school however Dalton's college dream soon becomes a living nightmare when the repressed demons of his past suddenly return to haunt them both now the reason I want to talk about in series 5 is because I want to go over some rumors that have been shared with me according to what was shown in an alleged rough cut of the upcoming trailer for the movie which could tie into the story beats for the upcoming film now if you don't want any potential knowledge of what could happen in the film then I guess you can click away and come back after maybe a minute or two uh, I'll maybe 30 seconds but you've been warned diving in in cities 5 in this rough cut of this trailer apparently is going to show us dalton obviously arriving at college it's going to show us lorraine's funeral because we know josh's mother has passed and it'll show us dalton while at college having nightmares and drawing the lipstick face demon once again like he did in the original movie now my thing is i'm curious what it is going what is going to happen at campus or on campus at university that prompts dalton to start having these nightmares again or was he having them prior to even returning or prior to not returning but going to college and he just was not telling anyone because he was trying to figure out a way to fight off these demons alone and of course now that you're at university is just going to get worse he's probably throwing drugs into the mix while in while in his fraternity life so we'll see what happens with all of that but yes the lipstick face demon will indeed return according to this alleged rough cut of the trailer jumping into the next topic here today i'm going to be talking about scream six so scream six's box office is almost going to beat the original film domestically which would make it the first sequel to accomplish this if i'm not mistaken because the original scream just holds currently the highest domestic box office run and scream six is very close to beating it it's at 101 million i think it's also the third entry to join the 100 million crowd because the first scream did it the second scream did it and now scream six has done it none of the others have have done that so again this movie continues to break box office records and make history uh all it needs to do is cross 103 million domestically which it again is well on its way to doing and it'll be the highest grossing screen movie domestically beating out the original and again i will say this is very satisfying it's very just it just it, it makes me smile ear to ear because radio silence went through so much unwanted backlash over stuff they had no control over people sending them weird messages tagging them in weird twitter posts and then you have the cast and the other crew members like melissa barrera who again while i know this stuff wasn't the majority of us dealing with that at all over stuff you don't have any control over it's ridiculous and then only to turn around after all of this negativity surrounding the movie that most people were excited about you're breaking records you're outdoing the original almost you're joining you're joining the 100 million crowd like the first two movies which none of the other sequels have done and you're just continuing to be booked and busy and it's just bittersweet and i cannot wait to see what melissa barrera has to offer us in scream 7 because i'm confident she will be back uh and what let me know if you guys think that scream 6 will indeed pass the original domestically at the box office because i think it will it really only needs two or three more million it, it, it literally only needs well one more million and some change actually <laughs> and it'll be the highest grossing film domestically but jumping into pretty little liars summer school pretty little liars summer school which we know is basically pretty little liars original sin season two it has begun filming uh bailey madison shared some images over on her social media to acknowledge the one week of filming that has wrapped already and i did want to talk about a rumor regarding this upcoming season now it is expected to include a sequence 
that has Bailey Madison's character, I forgot her name, Imogen, Imogen, the character of Imogen, who we know had a baby at the end of the first season, she is going to be giving up her child to Arya and Ezra. We found this out at the end of season one. So in season two, there's now a rumor that Lucy Hale will appear and she will collect the child or might be just appearing to either adopt the child or she might have already adopted the child and now she's coming in to let the child visit their birth mother which we know again is Imogen but we'll see if any of that is true I do not mind seeing the character of Arya once more but I would much rather them not try to bleed any storylines that the original show failed to actually finish into this I hope this doesn't like just open the door for them to start finishing plot threads from the original show i just hope if Arya comes in it's a one and done or if it's not a one and done she continues to just solely focus on the issues of original sin don't try to correlate any of what's happening in original sin to anything that has to do with cc drake allison de laurentis or any of the other liars or Arya for Arya's past struggles with with a either she can come in and give tips but i don't want to see any unresolved plot threads from that show tying in and taking up time in in original sin let original sin be its own entity but the last thing i wanted to talk about was saw x so saw x we know is going to come out on the same date now as the five nights at freddy movie so they're both coming out on october 27th and there's already been this concern about old five nights at freddy's is going to beat saw x at the box office so will saw x move i will say this i do not see saw x moving only because of the fact that they have already had the october 27th date locked in for for a while much longer than when we of course found out about five nights at freddy's however i do get the idea that maybe they want this to be the relaunch of the series and if they are tempted and if they see them or if they see this spot just not being a good way to secure a successful return then of course they could move i just don't i don't see it happening i think what they'll do is go off of the fact that this is again one of one of those low budget entries like most of them are and they won't see the desire to try to kind of panic about this the movie will be a financial success one way or another especially after the marketing ramps up and you're hyping up the return of tobin bell you're getting that bad taste of spiral out of everyone's mouth because i do recognize that it seems that most fans were not pleased with spiral although i am a fan of spiral i do think it is one of the better entries uh I can understand why some people don't like it, but they are not going to change this. I don't see them changing it. You, If you think they're going to change it, let me know what date you see them changing it to because October is the perfect time for both movies to thrive. I just think Five Nights at Freddy's has an advantage. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss the video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.